Tip Tut. Hello everybody and welcome to Tip Tut. Bit of a weird one today. Um, I was messing around in Photoshop and I created this kind of cool abstracty design background and I thought I'd just throw up a quick tutorial on how I did so because I think it looks pretty good to be honest. And honestly the key to this is a strong colour palette. You see here that I've built up a, a colour palette of swatches um, from sort of colours I found online and things like that and I've decided it's a nice palette to put together. Um, I'm just going to recreate this here that I've got in front of you um, just so you can understand sort of my thought process behind it. Now if you create a new um, uh, document and the size of Facebook banner I think is 851 pixels by 315. We leave the resolution at 72 bits and the colour mode RGB that's fine. And then you can see here we get a nice blank slate to begin with. Now, the way I went about creating this is I just grabbed my rectangle tool, made sure that the fill was on one of the nicer colors with a nice white background, and I just drew a rectangle. Now, the good thing about using um, the shape tool inside uh, Photoshop CC is when you rotate, you can actually still stretch and shape in proportion to the original constraints until, of course, you hit enter and it turns it to a live path. So when you hit enter, you want to make sure that this is in roughly the position in terms of width and height, at least, that you want it to be in. Um, now I'm just going to do that there and I'm just going to create another shape now uh, on a new layer with a slightly different color, perhaps this, this one here. And I'm going to rotate it that way a bit and put it underneath. Now you can see, already see where this is going, but the key to this design is actually dropping the opacity down by 10%. So if you grab both of those layers and just hit 90% on the top there, you can see you get this really nice overlapping effect. Um, now, say if I grab this one, I kind of think that's a bit too extreme, so we can just pull that back. Uh, let's bring in a new rectangle, uh, perhaps in a nice purple like this. Make it a nice wide one. Again, put that right underneath. This can go on top. There's no reason why it can't. I just think it will probably look the best underneath. Um, and maybe we can have this one come down, actually. So start off like that um, and we'll put this at an opacity of 90%. Now I find big changes in color work well with this. So um, what goes well with purple is yellow. So if we were to grab, excuse me, that was my mistake. If we were to be no layer selected and grab a yellow or perhaps this orange, uh, let's try this yellow first. Um, yeah, that looks nice. So we'll perhaps rotate that this way a bit because it's on the other side. Um, maybe stretch it down halfway even um, turn it to a light path that's fine and then let's put that as 90% um, that one's starting to look a bit odd to me now so in fact what I'll do is stretch that up so it fills out that shape and this one can maybe go underneath underneath that purple one onto the bottom um, yeah, I think that needs to go on top yeah that's probably quite good but I think what's throwing me off is that corner poking out there um, so if we could, in fact, increase the scale of that and drop it so both corners aren't covered, that's great. Okay, and then maybe one more shape here, which maybe angles that way and actually has a color, maybe that orange. Uh, let's play around with the colors. Oh, that's quite nice. That kind of pale blue. Um, that pale blue works, but do you know what? This yellow actually doesn't. So let's just change that yellow to something bit more fitting yeah that blue works quite nicely okay let's grab both of those make sure that they're both 90 um, in opacity that one's on top isn't it yes that one's actually on 100 and then maybe one more shape just to go underneath there we can drag that one right the way down have it come off the edge of the screen and then let's try maybe a nice bold pink, paler one, dark purple, maybe this offset purple, maybe a horrid green. How about that? Um, doesn't look too bad. That kind of bold change there. Um, maybe let's let's stick with yeah, that green's quite nice. Okay, so you can see already that this is starting to take shape. Um, now because this is an abstract piece, it really doesn't. It's up to you how you want to deal with it, how you want to. Use it how you want to use the shapes, whether you want to throw in curves in there. Um, I tend to keep mine fairly angular. I think that works well with this kind of flat design sort of style. 
Um, and again, you don't have to keep the opacity the same. You can increase and reduce it as much as you want. So perhaps 50% for that one. But then of course you need to start blending colors a bit more. Um, maybe try 75 for that one there and then extend it off screen. Uh, make it thinner perhaps. See, um, if your shape stops being a shape and becomes a live path, you actually squash and stretch yours. Whereas uh, if you leave it as a live path, uh, it maintains its sort of aspect ratio throughout. Um, I think that looks quite nice like that. But maybe if we do drop this down to say 30% um, or 50%, something similar. Anyway, as you can see, these things take place um, pretty quickly. This one's got a bit more bolder color scheme, which I think works really well. Um, and then what we can just do is if we just grab these two images here and drag it over. Um, make sure it's all on top. And the uh, DPI of that other one apparently was much higher, so this is actually quite scaled down. Um, and what we want to do is just grab those two, make them fit on screen. Perfect. Look at that. Nice, quick, and easy, abstract social media cover image in design one or in design two. It's up to you. Very quick, very simple, very easy to do. So thanks very much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, like I said, sort of, bit of a spur of the moment tutorial. Don't know whether this can be useful or not, but hopefully for some people it might be. Um, great. And if it was, stick around. There'll be more like this to come. So I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.